Well, hey, YouTube, this is Mars Radio. And this is Kid Knight. And it's been a little while, but we're doing another unboxing video here for Ham Radio, also known as Amateur Radio. And the product that we're unboxing today is this neat little radio. It's made by B Tech. And if you haven't heard of B Tech, well, I hadn't heard of it until just a couple of weeks ago. B Tech is um, uh, under the name of Baofeng. Now, I'm sure all hams have heard of. Baofeng, they make these very inexpensive radios. It's a Chinese company. And people have a lot of plus and minus opinions about how those radios work. I actually, unfortunately, have a lot of negativity about how the audio sounds. But apparently this new radio by B-Tech, the B-Tech Mini UV2501 plus 220 Generation 3. It's a 25 watt tri-band mobile and bass radio. And uh, it's supposed to be one of the best mobile radios that Baofeng or BTEC has put out. This is the third generation. And again, it's tri-band, which means it operates on two meters, 220 or one and a quarter meters, and 440, the 70 centimeter band, which is a very rare combination. We seem to have all these little tri-banders and quad-banders out there. And the one band they always seem to leave out is 220 megahertz. This one encompasses all three bands. So for this video, we're going to do the unboxing and we're going to compare the size of this little radio to uh, that of other handheld radios, including one of the Baofangs that I have. One interesting thing, I, I bought this radio from the BTEC website, but it was fulfilled by Amazon. So if you're trying to get away from Amazon, you're not going to have much luck because they have Amazon fulfill the shipment of the radio. The cool thing about the BTEC website is if you want to pay with PayPal, they will let you do that. So inside this Amazon box is, well, of course, I did order the programming cable, and in a subsequent video, we'll show how easy this thing will be to program. The good news is, from what I hear, is that Chirp now supports this radio, which is good because from what I understand, the uh, quality of the software that comes from BTEC is not so good. So here's the box, and we are um, looking at this mini radio. It's not very heavy. We're going to go ahead and open the box. Again, this is, so they say, the third generation. At the very top, we find a nice color manual. And one thing that Baofeng BTEC seems to have done in recent times is they seem to have improved their, how can I say this, American presence. That's about the best way I can do it. And part of what they've done is they've worked a lot on the translations from Chinese into English of their, of their manuals, and they seem to be a little better. Okay, you don't realize how small this radio is <laughs> until you actually see it. I mean, this is, I have average hands, I think. Uh, maybe a little bigger, but this is a tiny little radio, and in a minute we're going to lay this out on the table and put some HTs next to it. The display of the radio is actually the exact same size of display as the Baofeng HTs from what I hear, so we're going to actually hold these up against a couple of radios and see this for ourselves. But this is uh, <laughs> probably one of the tiniest um, mobile radios that you're going to find out there. So the, there's the radio. <clears throat> Here is the, and this stuff never comes out when you're rolling tape, but uh, anyway, this is the, the mobile mounting bracket. I'm sure you get the idea. You probably don't need to remove it right now. And this is the microphone that comes with the radio. It's got a pretty firm, fair grip, but it's not too... It's not, I think it's just right. It feels just right. I don't think that you want a microphone that keys too easily. Um, we all know about butt dialing. Well, there's, I guess, butt keying as well. We don't want to do that. And uh, this, the microphone has the uh, little clip on the back. And it has the standard RJ45 uh, here. And from what I understand, if I've read correctly, it is wired up just like the Kenwood mics. And I think Kenwood actually does make these mics. The radio comes with a uh, the mic mounting bracket and uh, hardware to go with the mounting the radio mounting bracket that um, you cannot get out of the box when the when the camera's rolling. When of course when I stop the camera, it'll jump out. 
and it has an extra fuse here. Oh, very good. Thank you, Kid Knight. And um, underneath this is a um, is the power cord for this, and it, it's fairly low gauge, and and that's because this isn't a, a huge um, power draw of a radio. And this will plug straight into a standard uh, cigarette lighter in the, in the car. And from what I understand, it's less than 10 amps, so that's that will wouldn't be a problem with most modern vehicles uh, using this. So. Um, here you go. It's a very simple unboxing here um, for the B Tech Mini UV 2501 plus 220, and this is the Generation 3 radio. And now we're going to have a layout of a couple of different radios that you may be familiar with to give you size perspective. Okay, for size comparison, I uh, now have this new Mini B Tech radio mobile radio here and right next to it is its sister handheld made by Baofeng and if you look real close at this handheld you'll notice the microphone opening is ridiculously wide and that's my doing because the transmit audio on this Baofeng and on a lot of them is horrible. One of the attractive features about the Generation 3 is that in this Generation 3 mobile you can go in there in the computer software and or even I think in the menu as we will we will test out in the uh, the second part of this video later on is that you can adjust the microphone gain which um, it's going to be very interesting to hear how that sounds and we're going to play into the video what it sounds like received from another radio but this is the Baofeng the UV82 uh, sitting right next to it you can see the display is the exact same size they're simply using the existing Baofeng displays and that may be a problem for some people having such a small display in the mobile. Then again, if you don't do a lot of frequency jumping around, uh, it may not be a problem. Uh, that'll be up to you to determine, but don't expect a big display. For another size perspective, here's the Yesu FT-1D. The, this HT is almost the entire size of this mobile radio. Uh, and, you know, it's a double-edged sword. This radio may fit in a lot of compact vehicles where other bigger mobiles may not have fit. And Kid Knight, you have your handheld, right? This is actually a tri-band handheld made by Anytone, and it's a 2 meter, 220, 70 centimeter tri-band radio. So it has the same bands as this B-Tech, and it's an HT. And again, you can see for perspective the, uh, the different sizes. And this microphone here is about the size of the radio almost, almost as well. One more size perspective we're going to give you here is, uh, is an iPad. So you can see if you know what a standard iPad size is. This is uh, what an iPad looks like. And um, Kid Knight, what do you have here? I have my iPod 6, which is the same size as the iPhone 5. Okay, very good. So this is an iPod. And you can see it's not like the, the size of the big iPhones, the, the pluses. Yeah, this not is, the iPhone 6 Plus or right. whatever it's called. It's like your standard iPhone size. And that's, that's another bit of size perspective. And, of course, the ultimate measurement of size is uh, using a ruler. And it, I don't know if it's me or what, but I can't find actual measurements on the BTEC website or anywhere. And Amazon had some measurements that looked a little ridiculous unless they fixed them. But we're going to go ahead and do a measurement. Um, the width of the radio is three and a half. about a little over three and a half inches. Metric, which is a lot easier in my opinion. We're at about nine and a half centimeters wide. The height of it, we're talking about, about a, just under an inch and a half high. Or roughly about three and a half centimeters or so. And then the depth of the radio. And we're gonna include the buttons, the knobs, and, and, and the very um, edge of the fan. And of course, assuming, you know, with this fan back here, you need to keep this open, but we're just, we're just gonna do the measurements from the tip of the button to the tip of the fan. We're talking about four and three quarters inches or 
we're talking about a little over 12 centimeters. Maybe just say 12 and a half centimeters. So those are the measurements. It's really tiny. It does not weigh very much. I mean, if you had an adequate power supply, you could put this thing on a bicycle as long as it had a decent antenna. Of course, uh, speaking of antennas, the connector is an SO239, which is adequate. I always favor end connectors, but, uh, but SO239 works. And it has an audio jack on the back. So that's the unboxing part of this video. And coming up in just a moment, we're going to put this radio to the test. We're gonna hook it up to power and then we're going to uh, test the audio. And part of this audio test is going to include various other HTs and listening and recording to what their audio sounds like and then recording what the audio from here sounds like and then testing the audio gain adjustment to see what that does. Does that actually improve the audio or does it just amplify crummy audio? We're gonna find out in just a second. 